Hi everyone, my name is Thanks Shokhabilo. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking the play button. I am so excited to be sharing with you what God has been teaching me. I am so excited to be talking to you today. And my hope and my prayer is that this study will encourage you. This study will really add value to your life. Uh, I am doing a study of King Jehoshaphat. Uh, the study will be focusing on how God uh, fought his battle. Yes. Uh, I want to start by highlighting three facts about Jehoshaphat for someone who's not, who does not have the background of the story. The first uh, fact is that uh, he was a king of Judah. Jehoshaphat was the king of Judah. The second fact, King David was his ancestor. The third fact the Bible tells us that his heart was devoted to the ways of the Lord. You can check that uh, in Second Chronicles chapter 17, verse 6. Yes, so our study will be coming from the second book of Chronicles chapter 20, verse 1. After this, the Moabites and Ammonites with some of the Munites came to wage war against Jehoshaphat. Some people came and told Jehoshaphat, a vast army is coming against you from Edom, from the other side of the Dead Sea. It is already in Hazazon Tama. Yeah, so the context of the story that I want us to pay attention to is that this was big. Uh, it was three tribes coming after one tribe. Uh, it was the Moabites, Ammonites, and Munites coming after Judah, which was led by, by King Jehoshaphat. And maybe you are watching this video and you are finding yourself with problems. You are finding yourself with issues, with, with difficulties that are bigger than you, with the difficulties that are three times bigger than you. And... And that's the situation that King Jehoshaphat uh, was in. And he, he, God was able to fight for him. And, and we will be, we'll, we'll be studying how King Jehoshaphat uh, approached the situation. And my hope and prayer is that we will learn from the study and apply some of the things that he applied. Yes. Uh, verse 3, alarmed Jehoshaphat resolved to inquire of the Lord, and he proclaimed a fast for all Judah. The people of Judah came together to seek help from the Lord. Indeed, they came from every town in Judah to seek him. It is amazing that the first thing that King Jehoshaphat did was to inquire of the Lord, was to pray and fast was to seek help from God. And when I did the study of King David, I, I, I mentioned that um, one of his principles of victory was to inquire of the Lord. Actually, it's repeated so many times in the Bible that, you know, King David inquired of the Lord, King David inquired of the Lord. And we see King Jehoshaphat doing the same thing, applying the same principle which is to inquire of the Lord. And I want to encourage you to inquire of the Lord. Whatever difficulties that you are facing today, seek God. Seek Him and you will find Him. Ask God questions. Pray. Take your problems to the Lord. It is very important. It is very important. Uh, chapter verse i'll be skipping verse 5 to 13 and i'll be jumping to verse 14 the, then the spirit of the lord came to jehazel um and i apologize in advance if i if i don't spell this name correctly um, then the spirit of the lord came to jehazel son of zechariah the son of bena the son of jael the son of Matania, the Levite and descendant of Asaph, as he stood in the assembly. Verse 15, he said, listen, 
King Jehoshaphat and all who live in Judah and Jerusalem. This is what the Lord says to you. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army. For the battle is not yours, but God's. The second observation and lesson from verse 14 and 15 is that the Spirit of God spoke through Jehazel. The first thing that the Spirit of God said is, do not be afraid or discouraged. Do not be afraid or discouraged. Do not be uh, afraid or discouraged. And what does that mean? It means, trust me. It means God here is saying that, I know that your problems are bigger than you. I know that your problems are three times bigger than you. I know that you are going through a difficult time. But trust me. Trust me. And, you know, I want to encourage you today that whatever you are going through, trust God. Trust God. The same God that came through for, for Jehoshaphat, he can still come through for you. But you need to trust him. You need to trust him. Verse 16 to 17. Tomorrow march down against them. They will be climbing up by the pass of Zeus and you will find them at the end of the George in the desert of Jeriel. You will not have to fight this battle. Take up your position, stand firm and see the deliverance the Lord will give you, Judah and Jerusalem. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Go out to face them tomorrow and the Lord will be with you. The third observation and lesson uh, from verse 16 and 17 is that uh, God gave them a strategy. God gave them a strategy. Uh, God gave them an instruction. God gave them a direction. God gave them a solution. Uh, the Spirit of God uh, Gave, gave them a strategy. And I, what I love about this strategy is that it is specific, it is clear, it is detailed. And that's the character of God. You know, God is not the God of confusion. God is not, you know, he's not trying to play hide and seek with his people. He He's very clear. He communicates clearly. He gives clarity. That's his character. And, and I love that after God gave them a strategy, he's repeating himself again. He's repeating himself again. He's saying, do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Stand firm. Stand firm. And my prayer and hope is that as you inquire, of the Lord as you seek for help and guidance from God and he may give you strategy he may give you a word he may give you direction uh, you you may hear him clearly uh, regarding what you need to do verse 18 to 20 uh, Jehoshaphat bowed down with his face to the ground and all the people of Judah and Jerusalem fell down in worship before the Lord. Then some Levites from the from the Kuhathites and Kurahites stood up and praised the Lord, the God of Israel, with a very loud voice. Early in the morning they left for the desert of Tekua. As they set out, Joshua stood and said, Listen to me, Judah and people of Jerusalem. Have faith. In the Lord your God, and you will be upheld. Have faith in His prophets, and you will be successful. The fourth uh, observation and lesson from verse 18 to 20 is that after Jehoshaphat received the word from God, uh, and the word was that God will fight their battle, they worshiped and praised God. They worshiped and praised God. 
and that's another level of of uh, that uh, that's another level of trust that i believe that we need to get to when we have had the word when we have had the instruction of god which is to remain in faith and praise remain in faith and praise because when you have received the word of god um, we should be we, you should no longer operate in the level of maybe maybe not the level of doubt no you should move to the level of faith and praise of faith and praise this level that of faith and praise is the level whereby you you trust is the level of belief is the level of saying you know what i i trust god i believe god i do not need to see to believe i do not to touch it i do not to touch the miracle or the breakthrough before i believe it but lord i i praise you i praise you uh before i even receive it i praise you for for i trust you i trust you i believe you and that's the that's the fourth observation and lesson that i want us to take from this study that when you have the word you need to move to the level of faith and praise yeah verse 21 to 24 after consulting the people Jehoshaphat appointed men to sing to the lord and to praise him for the splendor of his holiness as they went out at the at the head of the army saying give thanks to the lord for his love endures forever as they began to sing and praise the lord set ambushes against the men of ammon and moab and mount seir who were invading judah and they were defeated the ammonites and, and moabites rose up against the men from mount seir to destroy and annihilate them after they finished slaughtering the men of Seir, they helped to destroy one another. Wow. Verse 24, when the men of Judah came to the place that overlooks the desert and looked towards the vast army, they saw only dead bodies lying on the ground. No one had escaped. Wow. Wow. The fifth observation and lesson from verse 21 to 24 is that God completely took over the situation. The problem that was three times more than them, they did not have to fight it. God himself fought their battle. They, they just needed to show up. <laughs> They just needed to show up for, for the victory. They just needed to show up for the victory. And God can do the same thing for you today. He can fight that battle that is bigger than you. He can fight that problem that is three times bigger than you. And I encourage you that... Uh, uh, um, um, trust him trust him as you're going through that battle do not be afraid do not be discouraged I encourage you to inquire of the Lord get the word from God get the word from God let's not rely on you know getting yes God can speak through people but let's, let's uh, be intentional about hearing from God let's be intentional about hearing from god get the word and once you have the word move to to a higher level of 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 faith and praise and and i i, I truly believe that god will come through for you i truly believe that god will will fight uh, uh, the battles that you're facing the issues the problems, the headaches that you're having and 
and I, I, I truly believe that he will fight for you and as he did for Jehoshaphat, he can still do the same thing for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until I see you again next time, goodbye for now.